Sofía. ¡Woo! Black Rhythms, give them a big round of applause, everybody. They said they're just warming up. They are just warming up. Keith Roy, the beer, you need it. All artists stand by. Welcome to the concert in honor of the Right Honorable Justin Hero Castle, OE, Order of Excellence. He got a good send off, right? Excellent boy. I was looking at them today, doing all the concrete and cement work, and I mentioned to some guys. If Hero gets out of that, he good. Trust me. They did some serious work on him this afternoon. He can't get out of that. No, sir. Yeah, yeah. One, two, two, two. two. <laughs> the sharpest, are you here? Princess Ennis. We're looking for all of you. Lord Lake, you see these people? Have you seen them? All right. C can we get um, somebody? Where is uh, Jennifer? All artists stand right by. Who's Princess? Princess, that's you? Your Princess? All right. Okay, so let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we introduce to you our first performer. Please welcome on stage, the sharpest, the sharpest. Good night. Good night, Cultural Center.
Yes. People on the outside, we're asking you to please come on inside. Don't block the, the gate. There's lots of space in here. Come and sit down and enjoy the concert that the family has put on for you. Yes? In honor of Justin Hero Castle. Rob Lux. Contagious is watching. Uncle, Contagious, have a big job. Up next, we got a young lady, talented. Her name is Princess. Princess. Princess Tamika.
It sound good? It sound good. Again, we're asking the people on the outside, please come on inside. Remember the family's doing this for you, you know. I told them, do the concert and then feed you. So, we should have had the concert first and then let them eat. You get me? So again, to the people on the outside, hey, Pedro. And for the folks who might be frightened, this is free. What happened now? Some of them are custom to not pay for going in. So, them outside are peeping. And them are watch. Because they're not accustomed to paying. Let me repeat again, this is free. All the people outside, as a, as a, as a, your hero friend. Call the people, tell them to come inside, man. Do I want food? I say, we got food for Uncle, for Jennifer. Jennifer, come. Let me walk you out. A food for Uncle. Do I want pork? What do you want, pork? I say, you want everything. Pork, ham, a gooty. You know, crocus, I was eating all kind of nastiness. <laughs> Somebody tell all the people on the outside to come on inside. Otherwise, we'll lock down the bars and lock down all the food. I'm serious. Somebody tell the people on the outside, come fill up these chairs, make the family feel happy. Or close down the bars. Praise the Lord. So we're going to continue. Ennis is going to come. Come, Ennis. Anus.
Hades, you are known by the company you keep. A be a child? Uh, <coughs> a be a child? And the song say, you are known by the company you keep. Yeah, that's why you keep from me. But you sound good, right? Give a big round of applause, everybody. I'm asking them to close off the bars for the next half an hour. Close the bars. If they want drink, let them go to a moose. Buy a drink. Look, a lot of people don't know, but Hero had a lot of friends, eh? Plenty, plenty of friends. In the death announcement, and they were to call Hero friends, we'd still be here. Because he had friends in high places, friends in middle places, friends in low places, and he had street friends. Plenty, plenty street friends. Hero used to show us his knuckle. And he said, um, you see all the marks on my knuckles? This is not from the accident, you know. A man teeth. Because he said he was a boxer. Uncle Peter, Hero used to box. And then somebody's telling me that he had a gym. They said, what? He, he used to boast that one time he bigger than Moose. Is that true? Auntie Roni? Auntie Camilla, is true? He used to be big, powerful. What a guy. We're going to miss him. We're going to miss him. Three times this young lady has won the junior, Caleb Simona. She did it again just last week. Please help me welcome Calypso Blessing. Give a big round of applause, everybody. And her mom is backing up. She now sing. She only back up. Good night, Montserrat. Um, I know, I know that we're celebrating the death of our beloved hero, but I wanted to say it this time since it's the enter entertainment section, and I hope y'all enjoy my song.
Take some note, front of man. Calypso blessings. Can you imagine if they had a, a Leeward Islands Calypso Monarch competition? Leeward Islands Calypso Monarch competition. I'm thinking about it right here. Be good. I was looking at her and I was saying, when I was younger, when I was younger, I don't know about you, but we never bed before you went to sleep. You see how she was up and down with no shoes? My grandmother would always say, wash your foot. Now go in another bed with them dirty foot there. Am I right or wrong? We never used to bathe no skin before we go to sleep. But you have to wash your foot and wash your hand. Am I right or wrong? Trust me. Good old days. Now they will tell you, go bathe your skin. Brush your teeth before you sleep. Why should you brush your teeth before you sleep? Go brush them again when you wake up. When you sleep, you're not talking to nobody. So if your mouth stinks, you stink. Ain't it? You all agree? You know I to say no. Yes, man. Justin Hero Castle. And there are so many little things that Justin would say. For example, I remember one time a guy cussing Justin, calling Justin old. And all Justin said to him, if you don't want to get old, die now. Die now. That is hero. Nobody have more punches than Justin Hero Castle. But let me ask you a question. I always had the castle as a high standing family. Classy family. But when it comes to eating, nobody nasty than Justin. Food a drop there, food a drop there, food a drop there. I said, hero, you can't go to no big hotel to eat. He said, that's why I don't go. The nastiest eater I've ever seen is hero. Hey, McClyde, come quick. Candy, you ready to sing for me? Come sing for me, man. Come sing for me, man. Sing some for the people. He will write a lot of songs for you. Come. McLeod. You good? Let's get some music, man. Candy. Candy, everybody. Tonight, I'll be doing... Brandon. Play it. Songs. This song, first song, this first song was done um, when everybody evacuated and left for England. And we were sitting talking about all the young people who are leaving, especially the children, moving to a new culture not even getting to know their own culture because some of them are not coming back here. is really hurting all the children are leaving tell the children tell the children we lost the whole generation 
Children are its worst victims. Sudden change of environment, exposure to racial harassment. A situation like this plunge them into mental crisis. They end up in the wrong group. Next thing they drink. generation lost for sure in the future we may lose many more save the children save the children we must address this problem with strategy to save our children save the children save the children 
They are the foundation of any aspiring nation. Let's pray that they stay on track, get qualified and then come back. Please tell me where are the children? Who's gonna care for the children? They have departed and left us broken hearted. A generation lost, a generation lost. And it's the children, yours and mine, paying the cost. No hairy mango tree for them to climb. No calabash to mix the sugar and lime. We sit here and we ponder. A generation lost to a new culture. Well, suppose this was a culture competition. <laughs> and you change the shoes, brand new shoes, just for hero funeral. Candy, you sound good. Give a big round of applause, everybody. She likes you warm enough for this year. Oh, by the way, if you're going to look out, the bus ready. If you're going to look out, the bus ready. That was Candy. Uncle, here you come. Oh, look. A little while ago, Uncle asked me, Uncle said, he, he need beer. And when I look, Keith Roy was right on the stage. He said, I don't want to be there. So we had to get Heineken. <laughs> now take the chance you don't want to. <laughs> we good again? Boy. You know the, the only thing that disappointed me today? When I looked at the hero in the casket, I wanted to see Hero's hand right across her. This was Hero's comfort. Whenever Hero sat down and he was at peace, this right hand, go right here. At the right or the left? At the right? And he put that hand right here. He is at peace. When that hand go young, you know, your belly kind of big. And he put it here, he looked a little bit like mountain. You said the mountain? And he put it on here. And he good. One time he would say stop smoke. One time. I'm gonna write a book about him. Book. You good? Which one? Maggie, come sing for me now. I want to hear your voice. Come. Tipiki. We, 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 we just have to do, to do so. Tipiki. We just have to do so. <laughs> you ready? What are you going to sing? Aloe? All right. Yeah. Aloe. Ladies and gentlemen, big up again to the castle family. Evelyn. Where should I go? Ethelyn, where you go? My friend, not you know. You good? Yeah. Maggie D. Down the line, let's go. Maggie. Oh! 
Give up a round of applause, everybody. Yeah, man, all the way. That is Justin Hero Castle. He spoke of two things, his family and his love for Montreal. I keep on saying on the radio that if ever there was a Montserratian, it is Justin Hero Castle. I say that without fear or favor. This man loved Montserrat to his bottom foot. Rest in peace, Cass. You'll be missed. Don Lake, I want to bring an old, an old veteran. Don Lake. Talk to me. I want to bring Willie Kinyogaro. Yeah, man, let's get rid of Willie. Hey, he might be tired. Willie! Danza! <laughs> Cupid. Willie Kinyogaro. Eh? Where is Willie Kinyogaro? Ozzy. Stand by. Tabu. Silk. Hustler. Stand by. I've been told that Johnny Maker might be singing. Johnny, a go go? Oh, can your name here? Your name is here. Good. <laughs> so, I'm hearing that net next St. Patrick's. Who? Where will we? Will Willie, come on, dancer boy. This man represent Montserrat, many carry festers and all kind of something. You know one time he used to be walking on glass, right? And then somebody tell me that the glass is not real. Let me see your bottom foot. Willie. I look, it's a cliche, no? Little bad boy. Hey, hey. <laughs> good, good night, good night. Dancer. Old school. Hey. Hey.
One time, me and about five guys from Lee's, after we saw Willie Kinney at University Center on Grass Bottle, we decided to do the same thing in Lee's. We ended up at Glennon Hospital. It's after that we heard that the Grass Bottle is not real, because there's nobody in the world could be dancing on Grass Bottle. Give Willie, Kenny, O'Garro, a big round of applause, everybody. Lord Lake, Lord Lake, work with me, no man. There's a guy called Tabu. I want, I want to see Tabu mash up the place a little bit. Can I bring Tabu? Macho. Huh? Tabu around? Tabu. Oh, you put on the clothes. Justin Hero Castle. And I'm sure that everybody have a story. Huh? Just while I'm singing? All right, me got you. Me got you. He said, all right, I'll tell you when to come. Listen, everybody inside here have a story about Hero. Am I lying? Every single person inside here has had a conversation, something with Hero. What a guy. Tabu. Manchu. Baby. Lord Lake. Don't play anything. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, before we bring, let me tell you about the band. Black Rhythms. Lord Lake. Cecil Lake. Give him a big round of applause. We got Roland Strokes Richards. Give him a big round of applause. We got TC, Trevor Castle, give him a big round of applause. That's, um, that's Hero's nephew, right? By the way. We got Brandon King, right there, give him a big round of applause. We got Keith Roy the Beer, he was playing guitar, give him a big round of applause. We got Mark Lyde, White, give him a big round of applause. We got Candy, and we got Maggie as backup singers, give them a big round of applause. What is your name again, boy? Joma. Junior Samuel. Is that your name? Junior Samuel. Junior Samuel on drums. Give a big round of applause, everybody. But let me tell you something. What is amazing to me is that there's a certain man on stage learning as he goes along. He never hear none of them sang ya. He know none of them sang them. And all you watch. I want my do, and next to me here, do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. I I'm so impressed. He is looking at McLeod, right at McLeod's mouth, not the fingers, and I play. Do -dum, do -dum. When he gets tired of McLeod, he go by, by strokes, then he go by Trevor. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to Sir Unku Edwards. <laughs> What you say? Why you didn't say that when you were singing? Why are you giving me a message? You may got the mic up here. 
In the, exactly. <laughs> hey, Uncle Saint Tika Sam finished the first 10 years of the song. <laughs> Kepo, you're well dressed. Kepo, look good. Lord, let, let me go, no man. Tabu. Tabu. The man, too. Come, no man. Let's go. Hit it. Tabu. Justin and Hero Castle as we pay tribute to a living legend. Back to Thursday, I've been working hard for Johnny. So from Thursday back to Sunday, Whoa, party, party like I don't care. Find a joint where we could all be free, or a place where you can wine and dine with me. Cause the weekend come, let's celebrate. Biggie! 
Imperial Castle. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Yeah. We talked together. Me and Justin, we taught in the same school, so. It's only remiss of me to say Justin Hero Castle was himself. An icon. Only Justin Castle, Hero Castle can be the honorable, most excellent Justin Hero Castle and only be Justin Hero Castle. He was himself. And that was the beauty of it all. I respected him because he laid the foundation for all of us from since the 70s, 1978, 79, up to this time. Respect to the Castle family. Respect Monikas, Edlin, and the crew. God bless you. Periodically. Out of that. Jump. Back line higher. Ready to see you. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody jump. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Give man jumping round of applause, everybody. Yeah, man. He just got an award the other day, you know. Check the shoes. The shoes come with the award. How long you got the shoes, eh? How old the shoes, baby? <laughs> he said, buy them yesterday. <laughs> Tabu. Now, uh, I want to say something. Asi, let's, get, let's bring Hero's friend. Asi, right between us. I want to say something. I want to make a plea, a passionate plea. The burning flames, they owe Montserrat some love. They have been all over the world. And I had a man, I had a ton man. And much of feed them. They don't got no here until they come here. Much of them here. Uncle, I'm crying on behalf of Montserrat. I want you to sign a contract with German Wade before you leave here. If you can't come Christmas, you must come March next year. Eh, here you are, Grumble. He said you only come for funeral. So all we need to do is to pretend we're having a funeral and bring the band. We make a fake casket and all of that, and then they perform. But seriously, don't you think that the burning flames sh should give us some love? Everybody say, yeah, man. <laughs> Let me say something right now. You, you, <laughs> he said, Hero pies any more time. We're a barracuda. <laughs> say, now nah, take the chance, but Hero gone. All I'm saying to you, we can arrest you tonight. We don't want to do that. But we love you and we're happy to see you. Please bring the burning flames to Montserrat. That is your passport. We could take that away from you tonight. Lock you up for one night. And make sure that you sign a contract. German, the Mac, the burning flames will be in Montserrat sooner than later. Give Uncle a big round of applause. Thank you in advance. May the, may the best beggar in Montserrat. If any time at all Montserrat want anything, let us send me away. Uncle is on board. Ozzy! Ozzy boy, come sing for your brother. Ozzy Carty and Hero are brothers. Like tomorrow being Sunday morning, you'll see Dion Weeks and Ozzy on the gallery. And before Humbug died, it was the four of them. Now, Ozzy cussing me, they ain't keeping from me because most of my people dying. But the last time I checked, Humbug up gone and now Hero gone. Hmm. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. Come sing, Ozzy. Give me something, Lord Lake.
I just want to share a joke with you, one of Hero's jokes. Uh, there, was, there was an incident in Plymouth, back in Plymouth days, and they had a, a ship here, you know, one of those battleships? They were here, and for some reason, there was an old guy, white guy from the battleship, messing with a local chick, and slapped the, girl, the woman, right? And the hero saw that, and come up to the man, the older guy, and said, be a man, hit the real man. Yeah. All right, me done. Yeah, <laughs> All right, me yeah. done. Problem ya. Problem ya. Are we done? <laughs> Problem ya. I uncle Joe. Yeah. I uncle Joe. You done? Yes. yes. How about this? How how the story going go? Is that a joke? It's a story. It's a story. It's a story going through. Yeah, let the man rest in peace, right? It, yeah. a, it was a goatee. I was there. Me and uh -huh. Hero lime the night. Uh -huh. And this white lady making a move on Hero. Uh, Jerry curls up and you know you know he was right. yeah moving we were so on there and then the husband it's an old white man start roughing up the lady and then he would say don't hit a woman hit a man but then me you know what he would turn me look on you know he would me look on the ground he would flat on the ground the old white man was an ex green beret yes the man was the ex green beret and. So he will get knocked out cold the night. So the next day, he will call up a gang the night. Man with a hoe, cutlass, hatchet, rake, stone. They're gone by them, but they go beat up the white man. So everybody gone over by the man house. So he will say, okay, come, we can load the man outside. So, <laughs> so everybody waiting now for he to give the signal so they can rass this white man. Somebody goes, tell man, he was taking too long. The people said, oh, yo, he was in there having breakfast. <laughs> he was saying, uh, he was saying, yeah, we have to know to negotiate. <laughs> that was zero, right? <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, where else he gone? He gone, he gone, he gone hiding, ain't it? No, no, no. What's your just now, right? Here, as you tell me, I want to give a joke. What is it? So wait, he knock him out cold? Hey, the man moves so fast, right? So he said, wait, where hero gone? I'm going to look on the floor. He will knock out cold. Somebody please tell as you how the story go. Uncle was there. <laughs> now, now listen. We keep on bigging up our kind of people. There are two people I want to speak about, quickly. There's a tall man from up Drummond's Hill. When you're Gansey, when you're Goosey, let me tell you, man, that man love hero, and hero love that man. Sometimes I'm going to work. Hero is driving down Drummond's. God for this man, he will say he need to get him early before somebody has catch him. And he got in long haul, and he can go work. Y'all remember him? When we brought in Hero the other day, I saw Goosey down at Moose. I said, but Goosey, you down here late, man. He said, I come to see Hero. Give him a big round of applause, man. That Hero friend. The other guy I want to speak about quickly. Haven't heard much about him, and I think it might be an oversight in the death announcement. Simon Deputy Riley. Yeah, get, get, get Simon a big round of applause, man. Deputy. Yeah, man. Yeah. You call him Deputy Uncle? Why? Why? Oh, so Uncle is saying he actually named Simon Deputy because he was heroes. Right hand man. But look here. He look as if our uncle got all the stories. <laughs> as he come late. Hold on, hold on. Say that one more time. Me and you lived together for six years. 
You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Are you, are you not coming up playing the music? He says seven. See, the seven even got up. He, he should be arrested. He must be arrested. If you don't bring burning flames, yeah, or bring red hot flames, you will get arrested. And me and Gaston Brown tight. Silk. Burn silk. Silk. Come and touch the, the place and do something for the family. The reigning Caliph Simonarch of Montserrat. Give me a mic. Give me a mic. Where is his mic? Where is his mic? I'll just give it to you. Show some love. Silk. Good night, Montserrat. Tu 
Yes, yes, give a big round of applause, everybody. Yeah, man, the boy, they're good, versatile. You realize that every time he starts off and he says, Basil, they come on stage. But when I realize that he coming up to the part where he say, the people will vote them out, make us so. I don't want if anything happens, they say, oh, Basil, get involved. You know me, bad lucky. I got blamed for what happened the last time, and I've detoxed myself from politics. You understand? you understand? I have detoxed myself from politics. So once anything come up where, oh, vote them out, get rid of them, they gone, so. They gone a lease. Back a lease, me gone. Boy. The band sound good? I give them a big round of applause, no man. And let me ask you a question. Let me ask you one question. Y'all don't have to talk loud. How did BS man sound? What happened? How you walk you up? How you walk you up? How did BS man sound? How did BS man sound? Somebody said burning flames. Burning flames. Burning flames. I'm be teaching up. <laughs> Uncle, the first time you play the bass line, I'm going to show you. Hey, you couldn't get it. And you come and you ask me, Basil, how you think? I'm say, no, no, no. Not boom, 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 boom. Because you used to play boom, 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 boom. I said, no. You played it wrong. Plum, yeah? Plum. Let me see how you teach me. <laughs> with, that, with that line, I would have never had a hit. Why you just play this? I would have never had no hit. Wait, me not sound good? Let me give you all one more time. I'm a TG. Listen, there's a, a, a young guy who is like my brother. We've done many things together over 40 odd years. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome one of arrows and one of heroes, close friends from the University of Soka. Eh, Edison, Taya. Tayo! A pounds he got, you know. See how you are? Pounds, boy. You can tell when people come from America and when people come from England. When people come from England, this is how they walk. Because they have pounds. When people come from America, they walk light. Because the U.S. is a bit thin. You know? But it's heavy. But this is how Americans walk. You never see moonshine? Yes. But when they come from Antigua, like Unko, because Antigua accept anything. I saw Unko walk. <laughs> Hustler! Earl! Hustler Brown, come, come touch the place, no man. Yeah, man, Hustler! Come nice up the place for the people.
Taught me that. Hero taught me that. Hero taught me how to deliver a calypso. We have many times. <laughs> Hero is a man that will come to you and say to you, Boy, excuse my language for the kid, you're singing shit. Just like that. He's like a upfront, straightforward man, yeah? I remember one time I was doing a song, Grand Dread. I spent so much time in the band house practicing this song. Everybody go on jet. He will come and tell me, boy, you will never make it beyond the semifinal. You are lucky you passed the elimination. And within a day, he went and wrote me a song. Deputy could confess to that. Within the same day, or the next morning, I learned the song. I could not believe that. I drive all night, all morning. <laughs> and I, I did it. You have another tune for Hustler there? How much tune you practice for Hustler? One or two? One of them? Jam it. I don't think. <laughs> Caliente. We chop the wall together. We know how it is. And, excuse me, please. Sir. Okay. So, let's give my voice. Huh? Let's go, Sandy. Yeah, caliente. Woo, that's how we rock. Papa, na, na, na. Papa. Roland, let's go. Roll with this guy. Come. Woo. One. I come here to sing 
everybody we are both in our 50s now 40 odd years of friendship and we've had one argument in all those years and the argument wasn't even about us can you imagine that I love hustler with all of me over what woman no over who Money, money dead. Who? Oh, poor? No, sir. No. I just want to thank the Castle family, especially my sister, Marcel. When I said to Marcel, I have to do something for you. He, hero deserves the best of everything. And I just wanted to say, when Hero's body came in, and we did that welcome for Hero, it cost the government of Montserrat zero dollars. It cost the family zero dollars. Uncle Baz and friends did that from our heart with love. Last night, the vigil cost the government of Montserrat zero dollars, cost the family zero dollars. Uncle Baz and friends did that with love and from our hearts. And let me say this. Remember, I'm not running for the politics. Eh? I've detoxed my mind from politics. But when you grow up with people like Nurse Marjorie Joseph and my grandmother, I've learned as I get older, how to care, how to give, how to share, and how to give back. So anything you see I'm doing is from my heart because of my upbringing and the love I've received from people like Nurse Marjorie Joseph and my grandmother. All right? So there you go. Be good again? Keith Roy, the beer. Boston. Yes, beer. And then we're going to get crazy inside here before we send you home. Keith Roy, where is he? The voice. What are you singing? What are you singing? Back to basics. Baby. Uh -uh. Sometimes me like you, and sometimes me don't like you. Oh, you get so great. A paint your paint your head. Hi, man. Hi. Look, everybody know that when it comes to dying, Ken Roy Hyman is the biggest dyer on Montreal. Can I say dyer? If you die, you hear what you call it. Huh? Dyer or dying? Dying? Ken Roy Hyman is the biggest dying. Not dying, that's not so good. What do you mean? Your color. He said color is here. But when it comes to coloring here, Ken Roy Hyman is the biggest culprit in Montserrat. Pass your padayadry. Pass your padayadry. What do you call it? Just for men? Beauty plus. There you live. How are y'all doing? Good night, good night. Let me say publicly my condolences to the Castle family. Marcel, thank you for inviting me. Me and Justin, as I said on the radio, were very good. 
help me in my development, especially in my writing skills. Whenever I write anything and I send it to him, he calls me and tells me if it's rubbish, if I'm on my way. So let me say big up to Justin. Thank you. I will try to continue what you've started. Pops Morris, my good friend, this is your song. You're going to come out here tonight and sing with me. Pops Morris, come on. Oh, oh. competing the first four songs that I did in the competition and got first runner-up most of it was Justin's melody I'm telling you I have to take from him that's the master he is and I said I'm gonna use it and bang them up there Who come in to bang them <laughs> you rust them oh yes oh yes and I continue I continued because I know that I was taken from a great man. I love Justin. From the top again, let's go, let's go. Searching for the answer to this waiting. Then we start blaming our own brethren. Along a course that have seemed to have hope and promise. Then suddenly a serious wave crushed over. Separating the platform of justice and integrity. The question of life. Making it to 
Yes. I have one more to do for you. This one is for Justin, for me, for Basil, for Unku, for all of us, just to remind you where you came from, where you're going to return. Tipiki, what's the key? F? Oh, oh Lord, oh la da 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 Every generation what exactly is man? All religion agree, man is God's greatest creation. Scientists say man is part of evolution. Starting from the embryo, the meek and the greatest must grow. Here today, God. Man is like grass, his time will soon come and pass. Man is like paper, nothing but flesh and water. All this thing makes me sit and ponder. Trying to understand what exactly is man. Sing with me what you see. If there's an answer that I can find, that would surely soothe my mind. In the world we should trust. Man is not a but us. Whether a doctor. Or a lawyer, even the greatest Calypsonian in the world we should trust. Man is nothing but dust. So let the world be your guide, because from it, oh, man cannot hide. It's said in God we should trust. Man is nothing but dust. Man must die eventually, and when it happened, suddenly, we gaze in shock and amazement with sadness and disappointment. But as long as man lives, man will always have trouble. I see buildings turn to rubble and powerful nations tremble. Many times I see things go wrong. And with all man's might, he have no explanation. To see the future of man, is never in our hand. All this thing makes me sit and ponder. With all man's might and power, he's no not his time, nor his hour. Sing the chorus, me. If there's an answer that I can find, would surely soon my mind in the world we should trust man is nothing but us whether a doctor or a lawyer even this humble calypso 
Sonia. In the world we should trust. My son. Man is not hell but us. So let the world be your God. Because from at home man cannot hide. It said in God we should trust. Man is not Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the night. Wow. Woo. Thank you. You, you must do better than that, you know. Let me tell you something. People pay big money for that. That sharp little fellow, bad like Saul. Say what you like about him, bad like Saul. I want to pick up the entire cast of Saul. It's been wonderful. We feel your pain. We're with you. I want to welcome especially Uncle Peter Cat. Give Uncle Peter a big round of applause, man. Who don't know wouldn't know. But Uncle Peter and I have stories about heroes. We're going to keep them so. On the wall, all them walls that we sit and then he call you. Shh. That's between us and hero. I won't talk. You? You going to talk? Shh. You've been wonderful. We're getting there. I want to call Cupid. Come, Cupid, quick. Cupid. 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 Hey. Give me a mic, quick. Make, give me a mic. Cupid, come now, man. And sing from down there. Sing from there. Turn around and sing, and they go come up. They sing from there. Oh, you, you want them up there? Oh, you, you're streaming? Okay. So the camera can't move and, and go. Oh, you want light? Now take the chance, come move funny. Enjoy what you get now. You good? And let, let me say this quickly. Eh? When you all are going home, please remember it is 20 miles per hour. If your belly hurting you, pull over, do what you have to do, and get home. You know, make no sense. You pay seven hundred and fifty dollars to do that. Pull over, find some grass, do what you do, and go home. Seven fifty. Boy, slow down. I warn you. Let's go. Good night. complaining about the high cost of living everything going up so high we the people can't get by things getting higher and the merchandise getting there well i tell you i'm cock show it is ten times worse than
money come, so money go. How the hell we go exit so? Since the salary is revised, it's like water in we eyes. Salary is getting higher, but the merchandise getting there. The situation continues much longer. So I make my tribute for what hero contribute. Everybody know he was a real hero in education and agriculture, in Calypso and culture. Everything that hero do tonight, I say thank you to you. Mighty hero, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. No tears in our eyes. You told us not to cry. What I will promise to you, what you didn't, we will do. Instead of making promise, we all will do something about that. How we sound? We good? Now, what we plan to do, we're going to do a little collection. But we want $50 up. Think about it. Think about it. I'll tell you when. Huh? <laughs> Only bank cards we're using. We good? <laughs> Pops Morris. Come again, Pops. Come on. Yes. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. Lighter. They, they said the cooler empty, boy. Cooler empty. Yeah, more drinks. Yes. Yes, we're doing that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Give them that. Yes, hero. events of this country. Pirates came to evacuate Emerald City. They want to rock the tranquility, the peace, the beauty. They thought we were gonna leave our homes and property. But with much resilience, we forced them to surrender. So we could restore joy and pride all over. Lord, this ash is killing me. 
But in everything, though, we must all be thankful. Now turn to your friend, let me hear you tell her. Thank you. Turn to your wife, let me hear you say thank you. It's time we show our people how much we appreciate them. segment this is a segment that's going to take you home somebody tell me that culture done is in Montserrat 
Haven't seen him. Haven't seen him all now. But I've been told that a certain culture done was in Montserrat. That wouldn't tell me. Lighter. Pops. I never said that yet. I'm MC the show and I have the private joke. Okay, you good? This segment is the Justin Hero Castle segment. Fast and hot and we'll take you home. Ladies and gentlemen, again, please give the band a big round of applause. The sound led by Ivor Greenway and his team. Give them a big round of applause. I really don't know Keenan, Philip, Philip Bread, Philip Media, Philip Media, Philip Magic, Philip Magic, doing the live stream. Give them a big round of applause, everybody. The folks who did the food and the goat water. Give them a big round of applause. I can tell you all where the goat came from, but not tonight. Huh? Say that. Say where the goat come from. Or oh, it's more than one goat. How much goat? Hero goats. Lee's. Now Lee's goat sweeter than that. The people who arrange all of this. I think it's L Lorraine and her crew. Am I right? Oh, Mrs. Brad and Lorraine, give them a big round of applause, everybody. You want guineas? Any guineas out there? Lighter. How much? How many? Four? Four guineas. Ten guineas. Hold on. How much water? Three water, four guineas, four water, four guineas. What do you want? <laughs> Uncle reminiscing back in the day. I want to give the Mac family a big round of applause, everybody. Give them a big round of applause. The Mac family. Thank you. And then I want you to give the Castle family a big, big round of applause. Yes, man. Thank you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Deputy, where deputy? Deputy, come, come, come. We want deputy. Hustler. Come, come, everybody from the university, university of so Where culture done? Culture. Somebody say culture. I'm not going to see yet. Come. Hustler. Come. Who else? Down the road. Let's go. Foundation of deputy. Foundation. Everybody get the mic. Hi, man. You get my throw down.
tell you right now, right? I don't know if you do construction, carpentry, I don't know what you do, but I'm going to tell you right now, from today and now, you will carry on Hero's voice. You will definitely carry on the birdie voice, all right? Remember, I'm going to tell you that. So, the puppy, show yourself. There we go. Okay, cool. Come for the top. Galvanized by the thousand. You go left for monstration. Eighty tons of right here. And so quickly disappear. Some get so much they even sell. Why for people who flick it like hell? Never satisfy them bastards claim. A second share.
something. Maggie. What the next show? What's the next song? Roland. What you want here? Tiny whiny. Tiny whiny. Whine your boom boom. Tiny whiny. Whine your boom boom. Tiny whiny. Wine your boom boom. Let me hear you. Tiny whiny. Everybody. Hit the hump. Let's go. Wine me sign it.
earth. Let me go, man. Chambers, Montreal, new keyboardist. Let's go.
pull up, pull up. Stop, 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 stop. My dad was a genius, and he wrote, along with others, collaborated for the biggest songs in soccer, Tiny Whiny and Hot Hot Hot. Come, okay, give me the history. Come, it's still young. Go ahead. Somebody approached me outside. I said, how you come up with Hot Hot Hot? Um, Tiny Whiny. It went our rocking so rock. I said, no, there are too many stories circulating. And you see, me, see, deputy, he I mean, know what goes on. Me, the last one. me and hero do 95% of the work, Stop. right? I come with my drum machine, my bass, I create the rhythm. The music that you're hearing, I create it. Hero lie down in the bed. I'm in the front room, he lie down in the bed, like he's asleep, yeah. But then he jump up, come on, come on, hey, 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 you got something, right? No disrespect, Arrow will pass down going to the man shop in the red sports car. He come in, he say, you have anything, I have anything yet? We say, no, you break the ice? We say, no, he say, okay, go ahead, keep trying. He will go sleep, I kept working. A lot of people don't know the stories. One year, September 17th, I said, 17th, wait, the 15th was my birthday, because I'm working on Arrow stuff, trying to impress Arrow, because I just came out of Hammer International, right? And from hot, 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 to long time, to tiny, whiny, all, all the big tunes in between. Hero, sometimes, look, last month, there was a post from a Trinidadian. Everybody posted, well, less than Paul. Wrote hot, hot to less than Paul. I went in and mashed up the whole thing. Messy there. Hero. Just in Hero Castle, I find he don't get enough recognition for the work that he did for Arrow. All kind of people claiming little pieces here, little pieces there. Today I heard that there was an interview with Randy. Say he did the, the rap for Hot Hot Hot. Hot 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 rap came about somewhere down my that club with, uh, with uh, Onion, Onion and Hero work out the rap. When he done, they have a cast, they say, go pass by Randy, which is on the Sunday morning, to say, well, what do you think about this? And after that, the man claim on, say he helped with that. Well, I'm not here to disrespect anybody, but all I will say, there's a lot of stories circulating about Arrow's music and, and Hero's music, Hero of, in that era, Unku and Hero. That's where the work of, I, I brought the first drum machine to the Caribbean. So I used a drum machine, give my rhythm, I wrote the, the rhythm, I created the, the card pattern. I'm not trying to take credit, but credit is due where it is due. I created the card patterns and I created the bass line. Right? And I showed TC, the first card, C. I know he's better than me on the keyboard. You can imagine that, right? But give credit where credit is due. Justin Hero Castle did a lot of work in the background, and the man just stayed humble while others took the credit for composing all these tremendous hits. I'm not here to disrespect anybody, but I'm here to tell the truth and nothing but the truth to help me God. Thank you, Uncle. I appreciate you. That being said, they say you're the original, well, I'm known from history, you're the original hot 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 bass player. Let's go. International Song of Soka. Pull it. Ole, 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 feeling hot, hot, hot. Let's go. Hot, hot, hot.
across the family. Silas, Earl, you, you promise to send back up. You're being a spectator. Please, everybody, Marcel, Simone, Auntie Josie, who can come up, Auntie Ned. Huh? Everybody, me. where you hiding in the corner? Lie me. Come on. Uncle Lorenzo. Young, come on, Mr. Challenger. Let me see how to sing this together. Let's go. Lie me, last of the Mohicans. Uh, last of the Mohicans. <laughs> Let's go. I think it's fit that Uncle Lorenzo. Come on, you got, you got to do this. Keenan, where's Auntie Camilla? Tishimbi, where are you hiding, yeah. sir? <laughs> Lie me. Dwayne, Dwayne Castle. Let's go. Let's go, run the rhythm. Be it, pull the bass. She 
Rhythm before we go, on go, on go, get the devil rhythm. Dun, 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 dun. Go play. Hey, can't play. I know. Yeah, we good. Style it tight, style it tight, right? We gotta go now. Right, yeah. Correct. We gotta go now. Why is I want the devil rhythm? Tang, 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 tang. He don't remember him. One year, we went to Trinidad. I went to Trinidad with Arrow. Right? True story. Byron Lee and Dragon Lee, this guy, Mervyn Brooks, was doing a kind of drum, not tiny whiny, left to right, backward forward, just a drum, and I left Trinidad, I was working on a song for Arrow, left to right, backward forward, went to Antigua, recorded it on a four-track cassette player for the original burning flames, right? I was doing that song for Arrow. Ended up as a burning flame song. So Arrow liked the jam, left to right, and they didn't know, maybe somebody tea from, but he ended up with <laughs> burning flames and that launched the original burning flames career. So that chant, is a link to Arrow and Burning Flames, but we never gave the song, right? We never even gave the song. He liked the song for the Burning Flames, but he did not have one clue the song belonged to him. Because as usual, we do the music and present it. So if we don't present it, he don't know for he. Okay, so they say them guys say they want to style it tight. What that? Be old now, no, me can't remember all them tunes. Remember that? I sang a Libra done right. Hero. This one you. Me a hero. One time again in the city. La 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 la. We bouncing, we jamming. Watch a mega T for man right in the city. All right. And give to somebody. I know Arrow and Hero would pre pre prefer. You agree with them? 
Styly tight. Yes, we don't know what that from. We y'all hear all them stories, right? Y'all hear all them stories? And burning flame still not come. Burning flame still not come. Something nice. <laughs> now we have to put in burn. Okay. In 1985. 1985, Burning Flames was playing in, in um, behind La Cave, Old Court, Old Court, Old Court, in the place behind here. And we were charging, $10. no, no, it was $10 to come inside. Nobody, $10. wait, no, nobody come in. We went down to $5. Nobody, nobody come in. We went down to a dollar, and menstruation still wouldn't come in. Okay, hold on. Hold on. After Styly Tight was burning up outside, so we went to, we left that jam, and we went to St. Croix. It was 40 US to get inside, and the place could not hold people. Okay, 2,000 people showed up for 800 capacity venue. And I say, what? 20 US, 40 US? One dollar in Montserrat and then I come in. Me done with Montserrat. <laughs> done with them. And you know what? I never came back to Montserrat till 20 years later for the funeral of my great friend, mentor. He taught me a lot in the music industry on the business end what a shrewd businessman sometimes we tour in and i will give me 20 dollars here buy this. when it's time for me to get play get paid i will come with the yellow part you remember that 50 dollar gave you three weeks ago <laughs> got it off you remember that 20 dollar i said but i said fancy i thought you were just giving me to buy lunch or so no that come out your pay you're supposed to get 300 dollars now you're getting 80. right so I learned a lot for him. from him. Had I not been through Montserrat, I would not have been the person I am today with tremendous, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hits, right? I learned a lot about writing from, you know who, the best writer ever, Justin Hero Castle. Right now, they can't manage me with my pen. I mean, the story, the thing with, with when Hero pens a song, and you know, the beer remind me, I know tonight he tell me teeth something, but he remind me a lot of when he would pen a song. Yes, there are a lot of sense, a lot of meaning, a storyline that you could follow and actually visualize in your head. So again, I mean, I flew over here. I could not let this pass. Roland said, you gonna send me a link. It's a link, tall boy, I come in. I have to come, I, I, I stayed, I lived seven years, hero room and my room, same house, right? Two rooms, and that's where all the magic happened. You will hear a lot of things on the street, but one man I could say no, all the stories and the truth to everything is Simon Deputy. I gave him the name deputy because he was Hero's right-hand man. I mean, I'm a little disappointed. I wouldn't go into a little, but I'm a little disappointed because deputy was Hero's right-hand man. So regardless of what you've heard, Unku, I have the word. It was me, Hero, and, and the undertaker, Desi, when the father come for him, because father wanted him to work in the undertaker business. And when he come and he show up on the door, what, 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 what he does do? He run through the back door and go behind the goat pen and hide from his father. He wanted to be like hero. Right? So, makes no sense I take the mic and don't extend condolences to the family. When all is said and done, it's because of Justin Hero Castle that we're here. When, as you say, he has Unku, Kastan, Kuala, and Dr. Ramji and Speed Dial, he was not lying. He will call, call. You, 
don't know you. Oh, say, right? And you want me to do a bass line. Send me a bass line. Send me a groove. I say, hero, boy, I'm swamped with work. He said, Lunko, I have this great, great idea. I say, what? Let's do a song. A trump. Trump. I have a Trump, Trump song. And at the time, Trump was not popular or anything. He said he saw it, right? <laughs> when, Trump, when, Trump, when Trump won the presidency, boy, he, I said, boy, hero. Boy, we had a big tune there, you know. He said, anyway, don't worry, we have a next hot song. Uh, this, this, is, this is a great idea. So what, hero? He said, let's do feeling cold, cold, cold. I say, you know, we don't do feeling hot, hot, hot. You say, no, 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 no. You do feeling cold, cold, cold. I say, all right. Now you lost, now you lost, you lost it now. <laughs> but listen, before you carry on, on behalf of the people of Montreal, those back from 1985 at Old Court. In fact, I was the MC, you know. I remember the story. And I know Moroni, you know. A long time, 1985, I remember. One dollar. Yes, one dollar. I could remember it. And nobody come. So on behalf of the people who did not pay a dollar, we apologize. We're sorry. Please come back. I will beg you. To be honest, they come back, right? On them came the on them come back all the time. Yeah, on always come. I took it personal because I am the one. I lived here for seven years. You understand? And dedicated. Tap your nice. Dedicated a lot of time and energy and of time of my life. When I came to Montserrat, my girlfriend in Antigua was pregnant with the first child. And I left her there and came with Hama on a boat. We took 30, 30 something hours from Antigua. From How much? 30 plus Ant hours. We met a squall. We met a squall. Three vessels went down that time. Me never see water. Me look up so me say, wait a billion? But it, that was water. And the next time, the boat is up there, and it come down on the side. Bash out. Go on the need, come back up. I, I'm, I'm holding on this. Where is he? As he hold on, on, on the barrel outside. And next thing we see, land. Everybody jump. Oh, good, good land. We see the land. Lights, you know? And then we close by. Then I'm seeing the land, and I realize, no, no. The land is on the side of us. Antigua. And the light is in the back of us. Now the boat goes. I said, what's going on? We end up back in Antigua. And the, and the boatman mean he must get the money. So he went. So he mean he going back to Montserrat. So he came back to Montserrat. When we reached the port, everybody lying off the harbor. Because we, well, we're missing. Yeah, yeah. Plymouth. The boat with hammer was reported missing. So when we came, a lot of loved ones and family, oh, crying up. Meaning none of them here. My first thing, I'm running from trouble. I was running from trouble in Antigua. So I came down with Hammer. And I never regretted that move. Because I got, I went with Hammer, rec uh, recorded, arranged one song for him. I think it was Fort God. The first recording Hammer did with he would do the hammer. Arrow heard a difference in the arrangement of the bass, and he would came and spoke to me and said, Well, my brother Arrow would like you to come and sit in, in a few sessions. And history, I don't have to say the, say the rest. So, 1981, you're talking about, eh? It, eh? Yeah, so this is, my, this is my contribution. I never got a chance to talk today. I don't know if um, deputy wants to say. <laughs> so he, he say voice no good. Yeah. Say got bad, bad voice. All right, but to the people of Montserrat, look, I came back when I came for Arrow's funeral. He was said to me, Uncle, twenty years. Come on, man, you gotta let that go. You gotta let the go. We got work to do. We got work to do. Huh? Stop a nice boy. So. I said to him, and this is no joke, I said to Hero, Hero, the next time I'm coming back to Montserrat, it's going to be your funeral. 
Then he said to me, yeah, but I might come to Antigua before because I might be coming up for your funeral. So we had a joke. So he will come to my funeral. If I pass first, I will come to his. And so now I'm here, but Basil, I feel like I'm home again. The place looks changed because I remember Montserrat. I remember Fort Gott. I remember Hill. I remember Brim. You know Brim? Of course. Of course. Again, Dalani, Brelak, yes. Brelak and Donkey. And, and you remember Old Court. Old Court. But I think, I think this time I might come back when it's not a funeral. Thank you. With the original burning flames. Yes. Yes. Somebody say Unko. Yes, man. He have a come. Have a come. Must come. Tiny whiny. Wait a second. Left to right. Let me go, man. TC. Astrid, behave.
Aiso. Yes. Yes. We got to go now. We got to go. Yes. Maggie. Yes. Maggie. How we going now? Huh? Y'all ready? I take this opportunity to announce I can be seen for next election. The decision to run came after deep and thought consideration. Constituency wide. I shall not divide. I represent people I am wise. I have no platform to deliver this. Only this Calypso contest. So don't permit me on my segment of the show. My manifesto. I'll fix the action machine. Got the doctors them complaining. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, people? I'll build a bridge over George Street to link up Webs and George Street. Can you hear me? Can, Can you hear me, me people? We no free sugar, no free rum. The era of water done. Move in the right direction. Move in the right direction. Move with the mind for 2024. Yeah, me in. Me in. We gotta go. We gotta go. Can you hear me, people? Can you hear me? Can, Can you hear me, people? Can you hear me? We gotta go now. You see, you see, as, un as Uncle says, so many stories. Who you think come with the idea of can you hear me, can you hear me, people? Alpha diet. Alpha diet. Exactly. No Alpha more diet. stories. You need to know the truth. Alpha diet. <laughs> Quoting Benji Charles. This is carnival.
Hey, so, much, so long when they play the bass, my finger hurt me. No, my boat is early. <laughs> we gotta go. Oi. Sign the contract. Saka Winky. Simle. Sign the contract before you leave. We gotta go. Thank you, everybody. Get home safe. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Kepo. Safe flight, bro. Yes, man. Check, check, check. It was. The sun tonight, the dance like a view, all night.